Hello everyone, I'm Benedict Schechner and I got my first insight into the open source world two years ago. I would never have thought that I would be standing in front of you giving a talk about data protection and securing a next cloud in the private sector. All the tools I present to you are free of charge and can therefore be used by everyone, especially in the private private sector. There are various internal security settings. The best known is probably the two-factor authentication. With this feature enabled, you have option for logging in via email the next cloud at web authentication, time-based one-time password, or two-factor code. This may also protect you if your password is read out to incorrect settings or missing certificates. This is one of the best options for securing your next cloud instance. There are also, but there are also multiple other apps in the App Store. For example, restrict log login to IP addresses. This app then only allows the login of a specific IP address range. Nextcloud can, but, but Nextcloud can also be secured externally with a third-party service. I will show you various Cloudflare settings options. So on scan.nextcloud.com, you can enter your URL of your cloud instance and you get a grade of your Nextcloud instance where it shows up your, when there are some problems with your security of your Nextcloud. And on nextcloud.com slash seeker are uh, also all, uh, op, uh, all fu security features listed that are integrated into the next cloud. So now we are coming to Cloudflare. Cloudflare is an American company that specializes in internet security service and allows anyone to secure their website free of charge. If Cloudflare is activated for any Nextcloud instance, you run through then more than 10 checks before the website actually opens. First, I'd like to give you an insight into the web application firewall. This is where you make the most important security settings. For, for example, there are options to block ac access for a specific country or continent. So you could set that all the users who don't, who don't access the website from Germany cannot open it. By querying the user agent, you have also the possibility to, you have, you have also the option of giving users with a certain characteristic an interactive challenge. So they may not able to open your cloud instance. To defend against DDoS attacks, there are also options available. This is the rate limiting rule. For example, if uh, you can set when one IP makes more than 300 requests in 10 seconds, you can block the IP for 10 seconds. Such security options are not available in, on, uh, uh, in uh, internal services. So you can say that there are many free security options through Cloudflare and you can severely limit or re restrict the access, which is not available in a, the internal services. However, since you cannot host Cloudflare yourself, you have to consider whether you want to route all your, tra all your internet traffic which was previously private through a third party provider who may also collect and store the data or thus make yourself depend on another service. In summary, it can be said that the, se 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 that se se that the security of a next cloud can be significantly improved through a combination of internal and external measures. I'm excited to see what other security options will be de developed in the future for the next cloud. Thank you for your attention. Sure.